Aloha everyone, back with the haul of course, um, I know I said I wouldn't do one for a while like the last 10 times but I went to Berlin, picked up some stuff and I also went sort of shopping before I left um, just because my wardrobe is really really unprepared for winter um, and I decided to just pick up some bits and pieces and I also got one or two pieces when I came back um, like two days ago so thought I would throw it in a collective haul for you guys and show you what I got. Um, if anyone's wondering, I just straightened my hair. This is uh, my roommate left her straightener in my hair. Sorry, Nisha, I used it. Um, and I'm really, really liking it. Um, usually my hair doesn't suit me this flat and this straight, but um, maybe it's just because I didn't have a good enough hair straightener. So I'm um, I'm gonna rep this hair for today. I hope you like it. Um, so yeah, where should I start? I was gonna do like Berlin stuff and then stuff I got here. So I think that's what I'll do because I'm at the airport because that is essentially where I started shopping. Um, before I told you when I bought this Kurt Geiger chain um, from Gatwick Airport in the duty free, I told you that I wanted, I was initially going to get something a little bit cheaper from there. So I picked it up this time, it was only 12 50 really really like Kurt Geiger packaging and it's basically one of the simple chains that I really badly wanted. It's gold plated which is probably why the enamel is so good on it. And um, yeah, just really, really like the packaging. Uh, it's originally 15 euro from the kurtgeiger.co.uk website, but it's usually about a five, no, yeah. It's usually like, I don't know, 10 or 20% off at duty free. So I'm gonna close up for you guys because I have it on. Basically like a really, really um, unusual link. It starts off skinny and kind of works thicker and then goes back in thin again. So I think it's just really nice, really elegant, um, quite, nice and heavy and stuff and I just really like kind of barely their jewellery like thin rings and thin, br thin bracelets and stuff so I thought that was really really nice and kind of I know it reminded me some of something from Cartier if I can find it I will put the link for it down in the down bar below and um, if anyone's wondering about the name it's just called the Zoe bracelet so also if I do speed through this haul I'm really really sorry but I have so much stuff to show you guys and um, right not all of you will dig this stuff but um, if you're kind of just I don't know like a haberdashery sort of person I guess or just you like old things um, then you might like this stuff. I went to a market in Berlin um, and it was just a random market full of all sorts of things but I saw all this really really lovely um, like world war stuff and just stuff from the 40s and like letters and love letters like big boxes of just people's personal belongings and I just wanted to rescue them all but um, I couldn't rescue all of them but I did pick up some I don't really usually collect this stuff but I'm really into shows like um, American Pickers and stuff like that and it just kind of inspired me to um, you know if I like something just to get it and you know not to um, fuss over it too much the first thing I got was a German um, letter. It was written in 1942 um, and it starts off, I got one of our German um, friends that we met on the way to try and translate it for me. He said it's a bit difficult to read but he said he could say what the start of it meant and it says to my beloved wife at the start and it was written in 1942 so I thought that was cool. I also collected some of these um, really nice like vintage envelopes. Um, I think all of these are from Hamburg but they're really really um, nice and I thought that I could do something home decor wise with them once I get that side of my room done. Really 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 love vintage photographs so um, I got this um, picture of this little fella here. I thought he was quite handsome. Um, so I got him and I also unintentionally took this by accident. It was in my hand when I was paying for something else. Um, but it's an aerial view of Berlin in, I don't know when this was taken, but it's very, very old and I really, really like it. And I thought it was a nice, different sort of souvenir that I took home from Berlin for myself. I've never been to Berlin before, so um, yeah, I picked that up and they were all like super cheap. So I'm going to take off my glasses for a little bit just so you can see my life, even though I can't see the screen whatsoever, but you know, we'll work with that. The super jog and they have a two, three for two offer, kind of like the boots one but um, it's including lashes and stuff as well. But I kind of got roped, I was buying stuff anyway that I'd forgotten um, and I kind of got roped into um, buying a few more things. But these are things that I've kind of been wanting to try out for a while. I just need like a push to get them sometimes. So the first one was this Maybelline um, 24 hour super safe concealer. Usually people um, either kind of go between this or a collection 2000, they're supposed to be very similar. Um, the shade range in this, there's still only three shades, 
but I got number two, I believe, which matches me perfectly. I usually prefer to go maybe a shade lighter, but if you want an exact match um, to my skin tone, two is pretty good um, for under the eye. But the only thing is, like, the shade is really, really good. Um, it's a little less kind of, I know, it's more of a neutral undertone. I think Collection 2000s can sort of oxidise a bit. But um, I just didn't really find it any better or any worse than Collection 2000 and I was really hoping it would be a little bit better. So yeah, that was just okay and I got that in the 3 for 2. The next thing I wanted to try was the Illegal Length Fibre Extensions Mascara from Maybelline. Um, I don't generally go for cheap mascaras but I saw a tweeter and um, she's a black I think it was hey June and um she had this on and her lashes looked really really amazing and I thought because she was Asian that it might work on me too um but it really didn't at all I do think the fibers worked but it wasn't a very volumizing mascara um didn't really hold curl very well so I couldn't really put it under volumizing mascaras either um and all in all I was just a bit disappointed with this one so um yeah this is a kind of a I mean, if you've already got thick lashes, I think this would be a good one, but it's just not really for me. So that was another kind of disappointment. The last thing I got in the 3 for 2 was this Barry M shade, and it's called Raspberry 273. Um, and it's the one on my nails right now. It's just kind of a um, dark cherry sort of red, um, and I just really like it. I just wanted something autumn for the trip. Um, and I have to say I was really impressed with how much this didn't chip on me. It was pretty much good for the whole weekend. Um, and the only thing is I like it's really pigmented but I don't really like super thin um, varnishes. I just I know I, I like when they look sort of thick and um, a little bit more like a manicure. But it's still a really nice shade and it didn't chip too much. So um, yeah that's on my nails now. I just repainted my nails again. So oh if anyone is wondering I'm trying out Matchmaster foundation in the shade 2.0 Um, got this at fashion week um a couple of months ago and this is my first time trying it so let me know what you think Um, it's a little bit yellow for me but i don't know it might be just good for filming at the very least so if anyone's wondering that's what i next stop in germany was um going to the adidas neo store i went with adidas as a um an adidas style specialist and me and tony um from the blog fashion techs both went and it was an amazing trip. They basically paid for everything, um, like our flights and our hotel. It was just an amazing, wonderful trip. It was quite cold in Berlin, but um, yeah, we did a little bit of shopping at Adidas Neo and I just want to show you guys what I bought. It was kind of half and half. We did have a voucher, but then as well, I also used my own money because I got presents and stuff as well for Cahill for Christmas um, and things like that. But I'll show you what I got because I really, really like the things I got and thought I would show you guys. Okay, the first thing is, um, I suppose, I know, it was only 250 like, euros, um, and I thought if it was good enough for Barbara from the Persian Babe, then it's good enough for me, but I got one of these, um, little Adidas tote bags, um, and mine's the kind of, um, the Adidas Neo kind of green, um, this is kind of, like, the colour that their logo is, just like that there um, and I basically just got it for throwing my like um, uni bits and pieces in because for a lot of my classes I've a lot of different workshops and stuff and there's all these little bits and bobs like thread and stuff that I just need to be brought in so this I got this to, to chuck everything into when I'm in a rush so um, I got that and it was only 250 and I got it just to put the stuff that I bought into um, and then the next thing I bought from Adidas Neo was a tracky pants and I was in desperate need for a new pair. I have one grey pair in my entire wardrobe um, and they're a little bit, I don't know, they're just, they're very clingy and very like, they're very fitted and I just wanted something super slouchy and super like comfortable and weirdly enough Cahill likes me better when I'm dressed down um, so I don't know, I kind of got these with him in mind but they basically just look like this, they're your average plain um, tracks pants. I got mine in a size small. Now I would say the Adidas Neo sizes run quite big. Um, like the large would just, would probably fit about a 16. Uh, the medium maybe a 12 to 14 and then the small probably about a 10 to 12 or an 8 to 12. And um, depending on, I don't know, maybe it'd probably be a bit tight on a 12. But um, yeah, it just has the um, Neo kind of logo here and the Adidas stripe down the side of it. Weirdly enough, like they're kind of um they're a little bit clinching at the end, not too much. I think I might take them in a bit tighter. Um, but they just when they're on, just the little logo down the side looks really, really nice. Um and 
I don't know, they just look really, really nice on. And the best thing uh, was the price point. These were only 25 euro, which is only like, probably less than 20 pounds, which I think is really, really, never remember Adidas being that affordable. And I think like 20, 20 pounds is a really like affordable price for a branded clothing. So um, if you can not afford, like if you find normal Adidas really expensive, check out the Neo line because it's aimed at more younger people and so is the price point as well. So um, yeah, these are super comfy um, and as well, to kind of go with the pants and um, I don't know just to dress them up a little bit if you didn't want to be like a complete slob going into um, uni I got these amazing adidas neo shoes you all know I love my high tops to death so um, I got these and I'll just say I'm not a huge wedge trainer fan I have no wedge trainers I've no really impulse to ever buy them but I thought these were not as obvious and I just liked them they were pretty badass so um these are those and they're from the Neo line as you can see it just has a little gold logo and a little gold logo here they're nice and narrow if you have a wide foot do not buy these because they're quite a tight like snug sort of narrow fit um, thankfully my feet are quite narrow but even these rubbed on my baby toes a little bit so just a little warning and as you can see it just has a little like one and a half inch heel which is like it's practically undetectable like nobody would notice but it's still you know it's an extra inch when you're going around all day and as well it has this gorgeous like um kind of crushed velvet like rim it's really 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 nice and then the stripes are like snake skin so these were amazing and these were I think $69.99 which is pretty pricey but um, I think they're epic so I just think out of all my high tops these will be like the little bit more polished ones and um, when I was in Berlin as well it was absolutely so cold and I had no scarves and no gloves it was like literally zero degrees so I bought this um, scarf I know a lot of you will have heard this brand before and um, I don't know if they've come to London yet but it's called Cotton On um, and I got this scarf from there it's really like kind of it's sort of like a h and sort of place really affordable kind of funky kind of in-trend clothing um uh, but like i try i was trying to watch my money so i really just bought the scarf and um, it's a snood actually um and i only bought it because i really really liked the knit par pattern on it i thought it was um really really nice and i'll just show you what it looks like on so you know just your average snood so i got that I believe that was 11 euros from Cotton On. Of course I got lots of gifts and stuff like that and lots of um, odd bits and bobs but um, my trip to Berlin was amazing. I'm so grateful to um, Adidas Neo for sending me there and for giving me that opportunity. The premiere for Twilight was amazing. Robert Pattinson. Mm. So um, yeah, I'm actually gonna see Twilight tonight which is why I'm like kind of dressed up with my fake eyelashes and all. Um, I'm going to see the English translation obviously tonight because the last time I saw it, it was in German so yeah I'm going to go see it again tonight which is why I'm all dressed up but um, and one thing I will essentially need for when I do go to the cinema is these glasses which I started the video with um, Basically, I lost my last pair of glasses on my first day of uni, but to be honest, um, I kind of didn't mind. I had already actually ordered these from McClintock. I will get the card for you guys. Basically, when I was in London Fashion Week, I went glasses shopping with fellow blogger and lovely, beautiful lady, Leanne Woodfull, um, and I specifically went to that shop for these glasses. They're the only place in the UK, in Europe, I would say, that probably stock these glasses. They're from a very small, American manufacturer who's been making glasses for like 60 years like did like Buddy Holly's glasses they're really good at like the like vintage sort of look and they make them the exact same way they did years and years ago so um yeah I saw this um episode of my guilty pleasure shall I say uh, no what was it um not come down with me um who do you think you are and Rashida Jones was on it and she had these glasses and I instantly fell in love. I was on the market for new glasses. I just kind of, with uni starting, I just wanted like a fresher kind of look. I wanted to look more designery, I guess. Um, and my old glasses just weren't cutting it. So I specifically went, um, well, when I was in London Fashion Week, it was kind of an incentive for me to actually go. So that way I could get the glasses while I was in London as well um, and try them on inside um, the shop and everything. So this is what they look like on as well. I'm sure you saw them enough, but they're basically sort of a wayfarer shape. 
um, but they're slightly different. They've kind of got a little bit more of a cutout in the center and they're basically completely perspex all the way through um, and I absolutely love them. Um, Seamus and McClintock was so good to me um, and I really really appreciate everything that he done for me um, and basically I bought these frames and then I got the, the reason why they took so long is because Seamus has to order them from America and then as well I had to get my lenses in. Now Seamus does lenses as well but I really only trust my personal opticians in Cork so um, it just took a really long time for these to come basically um, but McClintock is right here I'll show you the card it's in Covent Garden, it's on Floral Street and it's an amazing little designer um, eyewear boutique um, not an overwhelming shop to be in at all. It's not like being in Specsavers or anything like that. It's specifically for like vintage kind of glasses, designer glasses, kind of um, from artisan designers all over Europe. Um, kind of just rare glasses basically. Um, and Seamus has a really good eye for what's in trend. He visits all the... Um, Oh, what are they called? All the oh, the ex uh, exhibitions and stuff, and all the fashion weeks around Europe to see what's the next best thing. So, um, yeah, visit him if you're on the market for new vintage glasses. He's absolutely amazing. I got a second pair in a slightly um, varied frame I guess. These ones are the black to grey fade and they're basically just black at the top and they fade down to clear. So I got those and um, the frames themselves are 160 without the actual lens in it. So um, yes I absolutely love them and they come in a really really nice kind of um, leather case so I am really really chuffed with those. Now I'm going to quickly run through my Topshop stuff. Um, after Barbara's latest haul had to get the t-shirt that she was wearing because it's amazing. I've been looking for a new basic t-shirt. Um, as you know, the one I'm wearing underneath this top, my black top shop one, has been worn non-stop for two years. So I thought it was time to invest in another one in maybe a different colour. So when she featured this, I was like, oh my god, perfect, need to get it. It was £16 and I got the size small to medium. And it's just a basic, um, really, really thick white t-shirt it's not particularly soft or anything but it is really really nice and it's just got the sleeves permanently like um rolled up and it's quite long um what i like about this one is it's perfect if you want to cover like your bum if you're wearing leggings because i know we all go out with the best of intentions um, and we get a long t-shirt we put it on and the t-shirt sort of rides up and you know bum cheeks are shown through your leggings but um, this actually, because it's kind of uh, more of a stiff material, it stays down and it's just a really nice fit and shape. Uh, and even though it doesn't come in on my waist, it doesn't add pounds onto me or anything. So I really, really like this one. It's definitely worth picking up um, if you're on the market for a basic. And that was £16 on Topshop, but I got 10% student discount on top of that. Then the next thing I got in Topshop I have had my eye on for about a month and I just bit the bullet and I got it because there's only a few left um, and I just, it has Christmas written all over it. Um, it was a rip off at £45 or €68 Euro, which of course works out at €10 Euro more cheaper if you buy it in the Republic because Topshop are assholes sometimes. Um, but yeah, if you're going to buy it, buy it online because it'll be cheaper for you if you're down south. But basically it's just this gorgeous, oh, this and the camera now is literally just making me drool. Um, it's basically a navy sequined skirt um, and then it kind of has like an iridescent sort of all different colour shine to it. It's a skater style, it's really heavy, it's a lot heavier than normal skater skirts. Um, and it's just high waisted and it's absolutely gorgeous. It has, it's lined as well um, and it's just... Oh, I just, I oh, I saw it on the dummy months ago, like literally a month ago, and I just, I knew I would own it at some stage, but um, I probably um, wouldn't have got it if it wasn't for Carl, because he encouraged me to get it, and he said I look nice in it, so I got it. Um, and it actually really pained me to pay the 40 quid or whatever for it. Um, but I'm not going to be buying anything this expensive again for a long time. So I thought this was like my Christmas clothes and I can wear it for Christmas and stuff. So that was really, really nice. I'm going to move on to is like literally burgundy heaven. Like, I don't even know. I have an entire burgundy outfit right here for you guys to see. So from New Look, I got new shoes. Um, and I know I just got a pair of shoes. I just showed you an Adidas pair. But, um... Yeah, all my shoes are trainers and I have no 
decent shoes. I have one pair of flats which I ruined in the rain the other day so I decided to get something a little bit more sturdy and while it was a new look I saw these. Kind of had a bit of a love-hate relationship with them. Still do but they're really really comfortable um, and I think I was watching Cian or sorry Cyan's uh, haul or something or night for the day and she was wearing Chelsea boots and I love the whole concept of Chelsea boots but they're not quite me all the way I don't know I might still invest in a pair but I just love shoes that you can just slip on so when I saw these I thought they'd be like a perfect alternative because I don't like creepers I don't like I'm not not that I don't like them I'm just not 100% like in love with Chelsea boots but I saw these and I thought they were kind of like a mix between the two um and they were pretty reasonable again this had like I think it was like 25% off all shoes or 20% of all shoes so these were originally maybe 30 pounds and I got them for like 20 or they were 25 and I got them for 20 either way I got them for 20 I got this and the dress for 30 pounds um, and I just thought they're really cool. They're really easy. You just slip them on. They're super comfortable. Um, and as well, they give you about an inch in height, which is epic because in these I'm about nearly 5'7". So um, I don't know. I do really feel like the difference when I'm wearing them. So they're really comfortable. I walk to school in them. There's absolutely no problems with them at all. Um, and they keep my feet warm just everything absolutely love them so they're a little bit scuffed as you can see because I've worn them a few times already I also wore them all around Berlin um but yeah I got them and I got mine in a size five and I just grabbed them because I really was in a love-hate relationship with them because I think they kind of look like Oak boots from the front and I hate Oak boots but um I think it's just about saved with the oh god oh I think it's just about saved with the Chelsea boot shape so um yeah I got those and I thought they were pretty good value for new look so I'm officially converted to new look. Um, Ram we again just a plain grey sweater and, I, and this is the back of it it's basically just longer than the front as you can see a lot longer because this really is like cropped but then the back has this um I don't know like diamond like card deck thing on the back um, and I really like it. It's actually not printed on. It's actually like a layer of um, linen sewn on. So it's not like a really cheap like t-shirt print sort of um, logo on it. So I thought that was really really cool and that's for me. It would go really well with a lot of the high-waisted skirts that I've bought. But I was feeling, I must have been feeling really really matchy matchy on the day because I also bought this and I just creased it. Arr, I just ironed this yesterday to show you guys. But I got it in a size small. It's from Ramwee and luckily it's a tiny tiny bit of give in it because I thought I wasn't going to be able to close it for a few seconds when I tried it on. But it's basically sort of a skater skirt but it's kind of, I don't know, it's like there's like seams down it as well. So I suppose the whole overall look is skater skirt but I don't know it kind of looks like pleats I don't even know um, but basically it's just red plain this is the brand that I got it from Ramwe it's online it's Chinese took about two weeks to come um, and I thought it would be like sort of cheesily matchy matchy with the crop top I bought um, and again these are all like pretty cheap I think I got these all for like 30 euros or something together um, but yeah, I thought they were really, really cute and it's really cute length and again, super cosy tights and you're good to go. So, got those, really reasonable as Ramwe always is. Ah, I think that is the haul done. I am so sorry it was really long. I know you hate long hauls and I ramble a bit, but I mean, I have to talk about the product somewhat. So, if you found this haul too long, I'm so sorry, um, but I do hope that you enjoyed stuff that I got. Don't know if I, was, I really probably should have split this all into two but I hate splitting things into two so yeah I hope you enjoyed it guys and um, please let me know your like favourite item down the down bar I love hearing your like feedback and your comments and all that sort of thing so yeah as well um yeah tell me what you liked about this video and like it if you did comment subscribe to me if you want to see more hauls more shopping more fashion videos makeup videos and all that kind of business and um yeah i also got like a new lighting system so i can film in the dark so let me know what you think about it it's a serious like diy job i actually like painted led ring lights um but yeah let me know what you think of it i think it does make um, a really big difference i got the candle going in the back i got a 
love heart light thingy and some nice LED fairy lights going so I thought I'd create a nice ambience for you guys in this video I hope you like it and yeah um, that's it guys I'll see you in my next one as always hope you've had a nice lovely wonderful day and if you haven't I hope this is a nice escapism for you and that's it talk to you later peace